Hello, filthy monkeys. Lord Freezer here, and you are watching Wolf Thunder Ranger. <laughs> So what's up guys? Welcome to your Goldie Boys deck profile. I'm your host Wolf Thunder Ranger. Today we'll be going over gold and all the bullshit and pretty much see why it's all on the rage in the ladder. But it's pretty obvious why it is. So without further ado, let's get started. <sighs> So know that Zenith, I'll keep the prominence core until I draw Percival. Got plenty of aglos, so that's Gucci. So I haven't seen Maelstorm in like forever. Forever, ever. So this should be an interesting match to see how well Maelstorm does in this setting. Well, now I drew Percival, but since this is technically a glory deck, uh, we're not going to get rid of our prominence core so easily. We're going to sack tricks and do things. And he's playing break right. A okay. A okay. Alrighty. Hmm. And he's playing old school PGs. A okay. A okay. Love drawing every fucking Joseph known to man. Love it. Love every little minute of it. All right, but this should be an easy... Should be an easy clap, but that's not happening, I guess. Easy clap turned into big poop. Oh, I forgot to put the Joseph down. Shit. I forgot. Oh, my head's got to get in the game, man. I am, like, out of it. The stream from yesterday really, like, destroyed everything about RNG to me. Kept losing to RNG shit. Very shitty RNG, and it looks like it's following me here. Ay. That's not what I wanted. Well, then. I got just threw some tech down. I respect that. I respect that. Trust me on that one. Mad dabs on that play. Mad dabs. Alrighty. Mad dabs. Mad dabs. Maybe don't let me have a search engine. Seems legit. There we go. Now my triggers are coming, but that's because I'm playing a meta deck, and meta decks' trigger layouts always seem to favor those people, so. It'd be like that, though. It'd be like that. And that's a strong push right there. That man didn't get anything but a clap in the face. All right, he's trying to reverse mail storm. So he's going for the double retire. I gave myself two intercepts, so a tablet attack in the Vanguard is definitely not up the alley there. And it doesn't look like he can perform a proper multi-attack without the proper column adjustments and so on and so forth. Yeah, he doesn't really have much. He had to sack his PG just to do something. Okay, now I see what he did. Okay. Alrighty, I see what you did there. Okay. Now he has a chance to do it, but I'm only going to take, I guess, the two damage to the face, and the two damage to the face is what I need to actually win the game with. Alright, reverse Mailstorm. Put it in that work, sir. Naval Gazer buff. Coming soon to a theater near you. 
That's weird. I'm supposed to hit triggers. I'm a gold paladin user. One, two, three, four with the Agla Veil. Four. Four with Aggie. Aggie sets up Kalos. We want the Kalos. The Kalos help. The Columns. Ugh. What's in my drop? There's a blaster in there. I gotta try to increase my odds a little bit. All right, Star Rain, look for a booster because me not having a booster is really giving me anxiety right now. Thank you. You know what? Thank you for that. That's that's a booster. I'll take that. You know what? I'll take it. That's not a booster. That's a trigger I could have used. Silly rabbit. Anyways, um... Obviously, we go for game here since you got rid of one PG. Doesn't mean the rest of the cards are going to, you know, be there from swing and swing. There we go. He sacked his one PG. He already had one PG in his hand. We weren't going to let that happen. Uh, Aquaforce, don't worry. You'll you'll see some play again next month. I don't, I don't blame you for trying out Aquaforce again. It's a very nice clan. It's just... It'll get nicer with Legion. Trust me on that. Trust, trust a person who believed in Tetra Dragon and actually liked using that deck a lot when it released. Trust me on that one. All right. Let's get to the real stuff here. Shadows and Goldies. Bread and butter. Butter and bread. Let's get this show on the road. Alrighty. That's a decent starting hand there. PG, Balin, Aglo. Everything's here. Star Rain. Like I said, everything is technically here. The rest is up to you now. The rest is in your hands. But we'll see how these goalie boys do. Last of Dark Ranger Beast. Draw trigger. Another star ring for later. Ooh, a bow. Ooh, piece of candy. We'll play that. We'll play this. We'll play that. Uh, such good options, which is kind of funny, really. I can draw a card if I wanted to, but I guess let's get the ball rolling with the, our intercept game, you know what I'm saying? I won't keep it too heavy, though. Place down the back. Hey. Right, and I lose all my intercepts, but just a tiny bit. Just a tiny so now if he damages me, I can kill his back row Jugabow, so now he has to work for those cards, and those sword breakers become Vanillos. Vanillos. Vanilla. Vanilla a-holes. Yasta Dakiri Venja. Abyss. Guess he didn't have another G2 to smack me with, so that's interesting. Okay. Drawing a card would have been interesting, but... Now's not the time for hot side hustling boys. Blaster Dark Avenger doing Blaster Dark Avenger things. Ow. Yeah, he knows not to do it. You know not to do it, sir. You're better than that. That is amazing. That was an amazing top deck. And now we're set for break right turn. That is a beautiful. I have to believe in my triggers, of course. 
I'm flexing how good the deck is by <laughs> believing in my triggers. So I'm about to lose two more cards, but obviously Azeanth needs to go back. As long as I have two PGs, I survive the turn. It usually takes two PGs to survive from three damage. Four, it's like hard to come back from. Four is a hard comeback. Uh, I try to avoid that as much as possible, the fours. Is he really going to waste all of his CB now without a counter charger? Apparently. He'll drop his legion, baby. So one damage, one damage. All right, so now I'm not even worried about his break right turn. This next turn doesn't seem remotely anywhere near. Okay, um, I'm going to just pretend I didn't just see that, but okay. I'm kind of go go look for Balan here. Turn the right cards. Stand triggers. Okay. Plenty of Josephs again. That's amazing. I keep getting that, which is awesome. Hawk that out. Wow. I have like options galore here. I should just push him to five. I won't use BB's effect, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Don't use BB's effect. Let's just push him to five naturally. Yeah, that would happen. I'll just aggravate it next turn. Actually, you know what? Let me kill that. Actually, that's a little bit more of the bitchy cards there. Dude's playing stance. Obviously, I'm not too worried. Okay, I, I feel much more confident in this match than I did before. Fact. Strong factoid. He can get a heal check all he wants, but that doesn't mean he can retire stuff, so that's good news. Let's retire that. Now I have intercepts again. Intercept for the following turn. Confirmed. We are good. We are Gucci. That play just really is, like, weird to me. But, okay. Stands. Stands it is. What's the worst that can happen? You don't hit your stands. It's the entire deck stands. Playing stand Revengers. I was really hoping this match would have been a little bit real, but... We'll accept it. I'm pretty sure Sure Clown would be surprised to see some stand shadows. Seems pretty smart in pogs. <laughs> I mean, he's about to return all of his heals and shit, so he's actually in more of a he's actually in more of a good position than I am right now. I can return my draws anytime. I just don't want to yet. I don't even have to waste my Agla Veil either since I actually have plays. So that's where your CB's going. Alright. Okay. Let's see how this plays out. I'm very curious. The only good thing is he's only gonna he's only getting those heals back, so at least he's limited, I guess. 
Two heals. I guess that's okay. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how this plays out for him. Honestly, I'm going to love seeing how this plays out. Because stand triggers seem very interesting. And he might just surprise us in this video, so... I'm as curious as I'll ever be. So let's see what happens. Alright, he didn't get a PG. He didn't get a stand either. I lost a star rain. He's gonna stand right now. Gets a draw trigger. Okay, wow. Dude just knocked out a PG. I guess that is a surprise to me. Okay, well done. Well done. Very well done. Alrighty, knocked out a PG. That is some high tier sacks. Lo and behold, I top deck Zenith. You know what that means? This card has to go back. Legion. I always put Star Rain back because Star Rain likes to help out. But I don't want to waste Naglavale because it doesn't really seem worth it to me. Alrighty. Swing. Swing. BB for later. Where the fuck are my heals? I'm gonna lose to a stand. I have a bad feeling about this shit. You ever have a bad feeling? I got a bad feeling about this. I got a really bad feeling. And I don't like it. I got a draw trigger into a stand trigger. Like, what kind of godlike RNG are we playing with? But I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty fun. Oh, he's about to do it again and I lose. Oh, this is gonna be fucking great. Can't wait to die. Ay. God. Let's just keep... I'm gonna lose to a stand for some reason and I don't like it. Oh, he didn't return any triggers. That's not gonna help his odds. If that helps his odds, this game is in this whole game is bullshit. FYI. Well, he didn't play more cards, so it doesn't matter. But if he hits the stand, he was a fool for not playing more cards. I like the fact that you got a heal check. That's really nice. Don't know how you did it, but you did. He really has two PGs. He's trying to draw Blaster Dark Revenger again, apparently. Alright. Well, that's fun. This dude was whiffing heels like no tomorrow. Wow, I lost all my PGs. That's not good. I don't have any Aglavales to really make a car combo, but... I would like to heal, though. Plenty of heals. Plenty of heals. Pretty sure he top-decked his card that he was looking for. Oh, motherfucker. I just ruined my fucking heel sack. Damn it, damn it, Barkle. Ay, that ruined it. Oh, fuck me. 
But I don't heal. I fucked it up. Okay, good. Oh, you didn't have it. What the f- What are you doing then? Why didn't you play more cards? Never mind, I lose. Uh, the, this is like amazing. Everything about this is like crazy and amazing at the same time. I don't believe it. I really don't. Hey. I really could have heal sack there, and the whole point was to heal sack, but apparently I fucked that up a long time ago. Luckily, he didn't draw Blaster Dark Avenger, so that buys me some time. What he was hoping for, he didn't get. Well, I'm glad I healed, because if I didn't, this match was over. Ah, <sighs> what a match. Ah, hey, match. I would have got a 6 damage heal anyways, I don't care. Uh, 4th damage... Um, yeah, we can kind of go the old school route with this one, if we wanted to. I mean, we could just, you know, win. Just return more heals back to the deck. Good game. Just turn more heals, go for game, that's about it. But that that was a bit of a surprising game due to the fact that the dude did hit the stand check during break ride turn and actually knocked out a PG. I will give him dash for that because he actually did do the unexpected. Very creative, and it, it can work. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. If it works, it works. I mean, I'm in shock, but it works, it works. Whatever works for you. That's what I always tell people. Whatever works for you. And I'm fighting Link Joker. And I don't have Monarch. Ripperoni Pepperoni. Hey. No Monarch equals bad. Very, very bad. No Monarch is very bad. Very bad news. Because Glendios does free, free, free things. The free, free. Land of the free. So he just added another Cradle to his hand. I guess there was nothing there. Guess there was nothing there. All right, the PGs are making me hopeful. There's some hopeful stuff there. I got plenty of PGs, so now I can actually play a weight, a weight thing if it comes down to it, but we'll see. We'll play this accordingly. Or try to. Make as many cards as you can, sir. Make as many cards as you feel. So he does have cold death. I just healed, so that's interesting. Agavale, Agavale call a card. I got a counter charge, but whoopsies. Ah, no regrets. All righty. So pretty much we're just playing around Glendios at this point. Oh, it's IZD. Well, we already know how this goes down, kids.
Yep. Pretty much we just outlast the reverse and that's about it. Goes to outlast the reverse. Sorry, you need a reverse unit for that, sir. And my car's unlocked next turn, so right now Glendios ain't doing shit right now. So that's good news. Oh, now I can get a hitbox in. Glendios didn't unlock, so that's good news for me. Retire. Legion. Poggies. Three P. I mean, this match is like a no brainer right now. He can heal, means he can't Omega Lock. He kind of wasted a break right because he has no G3 reverse unit. So, this match. Um, yeah, this match is mostly mine right now. That Cold Death didn't really do much. At best, he stalled a tiny bit, but that was it. But now he has to relock everything again, so... Yep, oh, heal trigger. Yeah, no, Glendy. As much as I want you to always be good, you'll never be as good as you think. Alright, your turn. What will you do? Glendios is nice, but we fight around that with ease. Oh, he has three PGs, apparently. Explains a lot. That means he has nothing, which means I can do whatever I want. Ooh, Agavel came in the back. Sad face. I don't know what he's hoping for, but right now a lot of his plays are dead. Uh, he might just come back. Never mind. Hang on a tick. This man might be making a comeback. Oy. Might. Might. Final swing. Okay, wow. Now I get a booster. I have a lot of CB saved up, so we're good there. All right, Agaville got locked. Oh, intercept. This looks like a deck I made, which is funny. Yeah, you're just a little too late to do all that stuff, by the way, so... Okay, that's getting kind of ridiculous. Dude fucking healed again. That's for dick. Alrighty. I'm gonna try to prominence core this and actually look for crits. Uh, I don't see any bad thing about that. I don't see anything about that noise. Perfect. And now we just play around things, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much the goal. Okay, that's getting kind of out of hand. That's another fucking draw trigger.
More constant guards, but that's a okay. I just want to say there's a lot of stuff getting out of hand there. Lots and lots of stuff. Pitch an extra Glendios. Hey. Okay. All right, cool. Max, he has his two PGs, and he healed again. Fucking wow. How's he doing that? That's another good heal. Again. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, that got whiffed. That's a sad face. All right, I'll take another BB. So that's like, okay. Thank God. I almost thought I didn't have an aggro. <laughs> All right, <sighs> Legion. Believe it or not, I need an 11k unit to kind of finish the match. Glendios is really trying to do Glendios things. That much I can assure you. He's trying really hard for it. Honestly. Let's call this so we have something to smack with. All right, finally his streak went down on fucking trigger checking. <laughs> More Zenith. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, he just had a lot of PGs apparently, but he dies next turn because he has to relock to do anything. Yeah, that's game. Okay, good game. <laughs> that's everything, and that's Glendios, kids. Just doesn't work out. Wow, I lost all my heal checks. If you look at it that way, it's weird. Oh boy. Starring Trumpita. Well, he's out of heal, so that's Gabe. Dry skip. Battle. Swing. Go, Zenith. Go! Alrighty. We are decks to play against today. But a win's a win. And we take those with... If I were being, obviously, we didn't run into the mirror, which is good, because those take about, like, 20 minutes long. I shit you not, a gold mirror match is not something you want to be a part of, children. It's not the best thing. It's not a good thing. But the whole point of goldies is when you use Aglavale, Aglavale gives you plenty of targets to get on your Balan with your BBs or your Zeniths, or you just use Aglavale to draw a card, fill drop, and all that. There's really nothing wrong, especially if you use Percival in case you had Agavale in your soul. When you re-ride and you call Joseph, call the Agavale out of your soul so it's back out in the open so it can be Legion again for the future. So that always helps you up. Star Rain is too godly. Liberator BB is too godly. And yeah. And obviously Lawful Trumpeter is a good tech card. It really helps you in the end in case you need to call again. If you didn't find any of your pieces, and it becomes like that sometimes, but it's always good to have Lawful Trumpeter. He can help you sometimes, depending on the situation. Uh, Prominence Core, he did some work a little bit today. He, you know, he's retired, I think. He tried to put in some work, but he's a good unit no matter what. 
being able to retire and call something can always help you and benefit you in deck thinning is deck winning. And that effect is only CV1, retire a card, call a card, so it doesn't really hurt you too much besides the retiring, but obviously we're trying to place our G1s with G2s. Zenith, 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 obviously next month, Zenith I think kind of might disappear due to the fact we're going to be fighting Link Joker meta, so be wary of that. Um, but this is just based for uh, this month's deck profile, but next month's deck profile is going to be hella different, very hella different. Especially for Link Joker. And we tech armor because of, you know, Naru's, but this is only good against shotgun. It's not good against the other guy, sadly. Anyways, but yeah, you want four of these. You want four PGs. Barkle tech. Because Barkle can also call one of these so you can draw a card. No, C4 balance. But that's pretty much Goldie Boys, guys. I mean, pretty straightforward. Go for intercepts. Deck thin. Deck thin. Intercepts. Heal. Get laid. That's the end. That's the five method for uh, Liberators. That's how it works. Honest. But yeah, the deck's pretty just pretty much straightforward. I mean, it's very autopilot. You don't really have to think too much. It's legit just call, 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 star ring, call, this, dot, 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 Percival, re-ride, 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 call, 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 and yeah. And that's about it for the deck. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Y'all stay safe, and I'll see y'all another time. Peace.